My dearest friends, welcome to my channel. I'm Kaya Signamari from Heart to Heart, an intuitive and empath, a channel, a human being and much more. I'm back here with my reading for the full moon in Taurus on the 19th of November 2021. We're approaching the end of this year so quickly, so... This new moon is a partial lunar eclipse, a very powerful and the longest eclipse in a century, in this century. It will last about 3 hours and 28 minutes and gives us a push to break free from karma and honoring our truth. The energies of this moon will unfold in the next two weeks until the new moon in Sagittarius on December 4th. So, I channeled while I was painting and for me, when I put together the informations or when I try to bring them in one sentence, this moon, the energies are about inner unity and connecting with our power and trusting in ourselves. I would love to announce that Antoinette Thompson, Intuitive Feel and I will do in December again a live reading on Facebook. We will announce it soon. It might be the first Sunday in, in December. And a Wisdom Gathering Circle one week later on a Sunday as well. Both events are donation based, so if you would like to get some guidance or uh, would meet, would love to meet uh, like minded and hearted souls, join us, follow our pages, and go in contact with us. So, I will read you the information, and this was a process to paint. I already painted last weekend because I'm on the last week of my film shoot, so I have not really time in the week. I started painting and then I wrote little by little. So these are the informations I received while I was painting. I had this image of the Taurus, very stylized. And then I remembered the eyes of a Taurus, the sweetness, innocence, wisdom, depth and humbleness. So this one will get an eye like this. He will have both the strength, the power to manifest and all those is softness, the sweet and beautiful inside, this big heart. Bringing these two qualities together in us is one of the themes in our personal lives as on a collective level under the influence of this very powerful full moon. Whatever is going on in your life will be highlighted by this moon. This long lunar eclipse illuminates all what's going on at the moment inside us and also on the outside. In the last live readings I gave with my beautiful soul sister, Antoinette Thompson, intuitive feeler and writer, it was a repeating message coming through, the peace between our inner masculine and the inner feminine forces, parts and energies, to come in unity in ourselves. So imagine, sit down and take a moment for yourself, breathe, feel your body, feel your feet on the ground, Relax in all what you feel. Is there tension in your body or pain? Just acknowledge it. Nothing to do with it. Nothing is to change. Nothing is wrong with you. All is perfect as it is. Breathe. Relax. And now, go in contact with your inner feminine part. How is she feeling? What does she wish for? What does she want to bring into the world? Let her speak. And what is she wishing for from your inner masculine part? Is there something she needs to forgive herself for towards him? Does she trust him? 
Go in contact with her and listen. Does she want to say something to the inner masculine? Let her talk. Just listen. And breathe. Nothing else to do. Be with her. Give her space. Be with your inner masculine as well. Hold them both in your arms like beloved children. When she has finished, when there is nothing more to say from her, do the same with your inner masculine part. Breathe. Feel and listen. How is he feeling? What does he wish for? What does he want to create in the world? Let him speak. What does he need and wishes for from your inner feminine? Does he trust her? Is there something he has to forgive himself towards her? Go in contact with him and listen. Let him talk. Give him space. Hold him. Maybe this two start to connect with each other. To speak. To tell each other what they wish for. Is also about their fears. Can you let them? Can you simply be there and listen and hold space? There's nothing else to do. Just being present with all what's going on in you. And breathe. Nothing's to do. And you give yourself such a beautiful gift. You can repeat this in the next two weeks whenever you have time and space. It's also possible that these two will start to speak now whenever they need to tell each other and you something. Let all this happen. It is so healing and beautiful. Let them be open, vulnerable and foremost true. Allow them. Allow yourself to express all what needs to be expressed. You might feel the wish to write it down as well. Then do that. All what is expressed in yourself is energy in motion. Is no longer stuck. And healing will happen. We all wish to experience a relationship with honesty, commitment and deep intimacy. And we all deserve this relationship. And how do you want to create and allow this with another one when you even don't allow it inside yourself? So, we need to train ourselves in honesty and intimacy with ourselves. It's not about reaching mastery in this before we can have it on the outside with a loved one. It's about our commitment to ourselves, to be true to us. The rest is try and error, going forth and back, allowing ourselves also to seemingly fail, what is ever only a learning and experience. And we can have it inside and outside at the same time. You might never have had the experience that you can trust your partner. I right now hear from my example as a woman attracted by men. Please feel invited to adapt to your own gender and to the gender you are attracted to. When there is this missing experience to be together with a man who is really trustworthy. Neither your former partner nor your father were totally valuable. When there's no experience of trusting the masculine in your system, no reference or other way round with the partner and your mother, then it is something you have to learn totally new. And we tend to repeat what we know. So, you are like a baby on this topic. You have to learn totally new what is me what it means to trust another one. And your former experiences and your ego will step in again and again, shouting at you that you are in danger because all men or all women are not trustworthy. And the try of your ego to save you will create the same experiences you know so well. So, your ego 
want to save you and shouts very loud. Attention, attention, danger, there's a man and no man is trustworthy. And at will, tricky as it is, plant seeds of doubt in you about this one to seemingly save you. And when we don't take care, these seeds will grow and destroy what could have taken a totally other direction. We have to learn like babies to trust others, to trust ourselves, to trust that love and commitment are here for us on a very physical and human level, in exchange with ourselves, in exchange with another human being. We are souls in a human form. We are energy and so much more. And we are human beings as well in human bodies. We like to be hugged, a hand caressing lovingly our back. We laugh and also need to be touched and loved on a very physical level. That is something we can give to ourselves only on a limited amount. And it always feels different to be hugged by a loved one than by ourselves. No misunderstandings here. Nobody else is responsible to love us but we. And to be loved by another one is a cherry on the top. Taurus is an earth sign, ruled by Venus, the planet of beauty and love. When I think of the energy of Taurus, I always see deep brown and fertile soil, earth itself. Capricorn is a mountain and Virgo is sand. This deeply earthy energy of Taurus is nourishing, is the needed ground to bring plants to grow and flowers to blossom. Go in contact with this energy. What wants to grow and bloom in you now? What seeds have you planted or do you plan to plant? This is a good time to make plans for the next six months, to start something new. No rush, no panic. No hurry. All what begins now will unfold slowly and steady. I painted this Taurus and was wondering if I will add other colors and elements. And the painting talks clear to me. It will last like this. Simple, direct, clear. No frippery. The Taurus, the moon and the heart. As if it would say to us, what else is needed? All is here. Is also no distractions. Focus on the important things, the essence. Focus on yourself, your power, your emotions, your life. How you'd love to live. We are in the midst of chaos. Is also a huge transformation. The more pressure and craziness shows up in our world, the more we are asked to go inwards and solve what the outside is mirroring in ourselves. Accept and love all what's still fighting in you, what you still want different. Every human being in peace with her himself creates a ripple effect, radiates his peace out in the world. We are all so much more powerful as we have been told and learned to be. For sure it is beautiful to go out and show that you wish another world and the streets to reunite with so many others and signal that you are not okay with what is happening. And also here everybody has its own way to contribute in the healing and transformation of the world. And every form is as worse as another one. A manifestation can only work when it is for something. All fighting against is once more the old way and kind of staying in the old system. So focus on what you want to live, what you want to create and take your steps. Also baby step is a step. Also a tiny movement is in the wish direction brings you further. And have a look where you still give up your power because you believe you can't change your personal life for the better. 
Sometimes it's so simple, but we haven't seen the other option that is more in alignment with us until now. Sometimes it needs a lot of courage to try something different. As clear as this painting is, so are the energies of this full moon. And they are inviting us to become clear what we want and also to go in action for us. When I see in the eye of the Taurus of this picture, I see the universe, I see love, I see wisdom and mercy. All this is a mirror of you, of us. Connect with these qualities in you and feel the power of infinite love in yourself. You have the power to change your life for the better and in doing so, you do your part in changing the world for the better. Trust in your power, trust in your love, trust in yourself. These were the energies I received while I was painting. And it's interesting because this is the first Taurus painting I make. I didn't do about half a year ago the painting for the new moon in Taurus as I was on a film shoot and I had the choice to relax or to paint and the choice was for me to, to calm down, to relax, to have time to sleep. So I will do another painting for the next new moon in Taurus to close the cycle and I'm already cu curious where I will be then because now I'm, I'm again on a film shoot or at the end of a film shoot and I was I was doubting for a moment if I have the time to do this painting and then life <laughs> life became so different so as I'm in Munich at the moment and in Germany there's a huge wave of COVID I had first of all this, um, this week in quarantine when I came here because I'm not vaccinated I'm the only one in the film team or not the only one but the only one came from Croatia here to has to go in quarantine and actually it felt for me like a gift to have time to relax and then I started to work this week again and it was planned that we shoot the whole week five days from Monday until Friday and then today it came out that there were two cases of COVID and then an actor as well so we uh, finished the day i had to go earlier because i wanted to protect me as i am not vaccinated and we will not shoot tomorrow what gives me the space to do this reading with time and space <laughs> right before the 19th and then i will go home on the 20th so For me it's interesting as I am at the moment really confronted with the rules here in Germany. Um, I have no longer the right to go in restaurants because there are only two options, either to be vaccinated or to have, have the, the COVID and be healthy again just six months ago the tests are not any longer valid and it feels a bit crazy i just I, I knew this would come and i think it will get even crazier the rules will become stricter in australia they have already um unvaccinated people has to stay in lockdown they had this rule now in Austria as well, here in Europe, and I think um, other countries will follow. In France, uh, I heard that people who will not get the booster vaccine, the third one, will lose their vaccination passport. So the pressure is becoming stronger and stronger. And what Apart from my personal experience that are really not easy, it's, it's a challenge. Um, what I see on the other side that 
for me to see that the pressure is becoming so high is a sign that the light has become so strong in the meantime and that there are so many people waking up and are not okay with being under under control and and ruled by laws that are not not made by the law of the heart <laughs> to say that or what I would call our human nature I'm curious how this will go on I still have the feeling that the next year will will become chaotic beautiful as well so I will paint again a painting for the year for the energies of the year and I'm already curious what will come out then in the meantime, I wish you all the best. Wherever you are, I give you big hugs and I have so much compassion with everybody working every day and trying to hold the life together under these circumstances. I have a lot of compassion for people who get the vaccine even when they're not 100% okay because there's so much pressure. And I have a lot of compassion for everybody who's not vaccinated and also for everybody who's vaccinated and and has a feeling he or she is doing the right thing. Everything, everything is perfect. Everybody should do and have the right to do what feels best for themselves. I leave you with this. I send you a big hug and a lot of love. Bye, Kaya.